Prepping for date iron sights is a lot like making Korean tacos. In order to effectively make this fusion dish, you first need to learn the basics of Korean marinades and you also need to learn Mexican tortilla making. Data Insights is a lot like a fusion cuisine in the GMAT world. Do your quant and verbal preparation first because the concepts you learn in quant and verbal are the same ones that are tested in Data Insights. But just like you put the same ingredients together in a new manner when you're making a fusion dish, you take the concepts you learned in quant and verbal and then put them together in a slightly different manner for the question types that are tested in Data Insights. So complete at least 80% of your foundational prep for quant and verbal before you even start your data insights preparation. How much time can you spend on a data insights question in a test environment? On average, you have 2 minutes and 15 seconds for each data insights question. However, spend less time on data sufficiency, try and complete those questions in about a minute and a half. These questions are the fastest of the lot and saving time here will allow you to give extra time for the more time-consuming question types such as multi-source reasoning and two-part analysis. Okay, how do we manage the humongous amount of data that you are given in multi-source reasoning? This is where note-taking comes in handy. Make sure you use that scratchpad to your advantage. Don't try and jot down every last bit of detail given in the tabs, but make a note of how the tabs are connected to each other and essentially map out the data before you answer the first question. 